Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. And today I'm going to show you how you can customize the Todoist sidebar on your desktop. Now you cannot do this on your mobile devices, but on the desktop and web versions of Todoist, you can now customize your sidebar. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my demo account now, and I'll show you how you can customize your sidebar. Okay, so how do we edit this area right here in Todoist? Now, for years and years and years, we've never been able to do this, but now Todoist have given us a way of being able to edit the sidebar. Now, here and here is perfectly within our control. We decide what we're going to add to our favorites, and here we create our own project. So if you want an absolutely clear sidebar, then all you really need to do is don't provoke, you know, create any projects, although that might not be particularly practical. But you can also reduce these by just tapping on the side there on the little triangle and you can remove those and keep this very clean. However, traditionally we've never been able to edit this area here. However, now you can. And the way to do that is if we go into our settings, which means you click on your little picture at the top or your initials if you haven't assigned a picture, and go into settings. Now, when we go into settings, we've got a lot of options available to us. We can go down to general, advanced, uh, whatever. But now we have this function here called the sidebar. You can tap on that. And that now gives you a number of options. So you can turn off your inbox, you can turn off today, upcoming filters and labels and completed. Now I think the default is having all these turned on. However, now the thing I really would should stress here if you turn off your inbox, then you haven't got a way of being able to see your inbox. Equally, if you turn any of these off, you haven't actually got a way of being able to go into them. You just have to remember what you've got. So, for example, here, filters and labels, with that one there, if I turn that off now, and I'm going to go update, you'll see that it disappears from my side. Let's just click there. So you'll see it's disappeared there. The thing is, now I don't have a way of being able to add new filters and labels, which isn't... Well, I do have a way. I can create labels just by creating them. To do it will ask you if you want to save it. So these are the things that I would really probably never switch off just because they are actually really good to access. However, the one that I do switch off in my real account is this one here. I don't need to see what I've completed. Now, I know a lot of you out there do like to look at what you've completed, which is great. So you've got a now a way of doing that. But you can turn it off right there. And that's how I have my own Todoist set up. I don't need to see completed tasks because once they're done... <laughs> They're done. I don't want to be looking at tasks that I've already done. That's just my own personal way. You may have a different way or want to see your completed tasks. Also here, you have the option of adding show task count. So if I turn this off, you'll see that when you look at your project list here, you don't have any numbers. If you turn it on, you have numbers. I have that one switched on because I like to see what I have got on my list for tomorrow when I'm doing my daily planning. So that's it really. That's where you go and change your sidebar. You can edit your sidebar. It is, if you like, fully customizable now because, I was going to update, I've removed the uh, the the, uh, the completed task, but if you can see here, this is completely uh, customizable because, for example, if I go in here, I can just tap on the three dots and I can go down to add to favorites, and that project is now added to my favorites list. 
Personally, I don't want it there, so I'm going to remove it from my favorites. So you can add labels to favorites. You can add filters to labels, which is what I've done here. These are all my filters for uh, for my day, and I use this very much as my workflow for the day. So I always start the morning with my today's objectives. What are the two most important tasks that I have on for today? I then switch over to my today's focus, which is really the where I spend all day. This is where I really have to do is open on, which is my focus task, the most important task for the day. And at the end of the day, I switch over to my today's focus, which is tomorrow's focus, which is what I use for planning the next day. Incidentally, one thing I should point out, I do have here, I can't put today in my favorites. If I did, that would come in here between today's focus and tomorrow's focus, because that's where I do turn to toward the end of the day, because that would normally hold the tasks that are unflagged, just routine or tasks that need to be done. So there you go. That's really all I wanted to cover today is just to show you how you can edit this sidebar up here. Uh, and again, just a quick review if you missed it. We go into our settings, go down to the bottom, which is sidebar, and then you can choose to add whatever you want from this list. It's not a great deal, but then you don't want to have too many choices because you're going to be forever playing. And when you're ever playing, you're not doing the work. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me. And thank you very much for watching this brief video.